Episode 16, Topic Drying. Please click the ads before skipping. Questions and answers are based on the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. What is the recommended salt content for commercial toyo? A. 8% B. 10% C. 12%. D. 14%. What is the recommended salt content for commercial toyo? C. 12%. What is the recommended water activity for commercial toyo? A. 0 0.60. B. 0 0.70. C. 0 0.78 D. 0 0.85 What is the recommended water activity for commercial toyo? C. 0 0.78 What is the local name for the dried product split salted fish? A. Toyo B. Bangus C. Daeng D. Tinabal what is the local name for the dried product split salted fish? C. Daeng What are the popular species used for making daeng? A. Sardines and anchovies B. Threadfin bream, mackerel, and milkfish C. Tuna and salmon D. Tilapia and catfish what are the popular species used for making daeng? B. Threadfin bream, mackerel, and milkfish. How would you describe the color of daeng? A. Bright red. B. Dark brown. C. White to light brown. D. Greenish. How would you describe the color of daeng? C. White to light brown. What is the taste and color of daeng? A. Sweet and aromatic. B. Spicy and tangy. C. Salty and fishy. D. Bitter and sour. What is the taste and odor of daeng? C. Salty and fishy. What is considered as the most economical method of drying A. Sun drying B. Mechanical drying C. Air drying D. Freeze drying What is considered as the most economical method of drying? A. Sun drying What are the advantages of using raised drying racks for sun drying fish? A. Slower drying rate and better product quality. B. Protection from rain and easier cleaning. C. Higher energy efficiency and reduced drying time. D. Increased air circulation and prevention of dirt contamination. What are the advantages of using raised drying racks for sun drying fish? D. Increased air circulation and prevention of dirt contamination. It is a system where solar heated air passes over the products, which are placed in a protected, protected environment. A. Solar fish dryer. B. Mechanical fish dryer. C. Air fish dryer. D. Freezed fish dryer. It is a system where solar heated air passes over the products which are placed in a protected environment. A. Solar fish dryer What type of dryer depends mainly on electricity to function? A. Solar dryers B. Mechanical dryers C. Multi-source dryers D. Freeze dryers which type of dryer depends mainly on electricity to function? B. Mechanical dryers Why are mechanical dryers limited to commercial processing plants? 
A. They require a large space for installation. B. They are less efficient than solar dryers. C. Their construction cost is relatively high. D. They are not suitable for drying fishery products. Why are mechanical dryers limited to commercial processing plants? C. Their construction cost is relatively high. What is the primary mechanism used in vacuum drying to evaporate the water? A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Sublimation what is the primary mechanism used in vacuum drying to evaporate the water? A. Conduction What is one advantage of vacuum drying compared to other drying methods? A. Higher drying temperature B. Lower retention of nutrients C. Efficient and affordable D. Greater retention of nutrients what is one advantage of vacuum drying compared to other drying methods? D. Greater retention of nutrients. In vacuum drying, what is the role of the vacuum pump? A. To heat the product. B. To circulate the air. C. To remove water vapor. D. To increase surface contact. In vacuum drying, what is the role of the vacuum pump? C. To remove water vapor. At what pressure does I sublimate in freeze drying? A. Above 1 kilopascal. B. Below 0 0.64 kilopascal. C. Between 0 0.64 and 1 kilopascal. D. At atmospheric pressure. At what pressure does ice sublimate in freeze drying? B. Below 0 0.64 kilopascal. What is the recommended requirement for the raw material used in the drying process? A. Frozen raw material B. Fresh raw material C. Cooked raw material D. Cured raw material What is the recommended requirement for the raw material used in the drying process? B. Fresh raw material What is the necessary preparation for medium and large sized fish before the drying process? A. Splitting B. Scaling C. Filleting D. Gutting What is the necessary preparation for medium and large sized fish before the drying process? A. Splitting What are the two methods of salting that may be utilized in the general drying procedure? A. Dry salting and marinating B. Wet salting and unsaturated salting. C. Saturated and unsaturated salting. D. Dry salting and brining. What are the two methods of salting that may be utilized in the general drying procedure? D. Dry salting and brining. How long does the drying process usually take under the sun? A. 1 day B. 2 to 3 days C. 4 to 5 days D. 6 to 7 days How long does the drying process usually take under the sun? B. 2 to 3 days How often should the fish be turned over during the drying process to attain uniform drying on both sides of the fish a over every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes B over every hour or every two hours C 
over every 5 minutes or every 15 minutes. D. Over every 3 hours or every 4 hours. How often should the fish be turned over during the drying process to attain uniform drying on both sides of the fish? B. Over every hour or every 2 hours. Where should the dried fish be stored? A. Freezer B. Refrigerator C. Cool, dry place D. Sunlight exposed, dry place What should the dried... Where should the dried fish be stored? C. Cool, dry place